I was recently asked if there was an easy way to flip sends to faders using the MIDI remote device so I could have physical faders to set the levels on send effects. So let's see how we could set that up in Cubase with a new MIDI remote. So most of us are pretty familiar when we have a control surface device, we could have something that would control our mixer and I'm just using a Korg Nano control tube, but this can be utilized with any remote control that's been configured in the MIDI remote. So when I come and adjust my faders on my control surface, we can see that the faders are moving here. We go to our mixer, we can see those channels adjusting the volume. But what we wanted to accomplish was to take those same physical faders and move those to control our send levels. So let's go ahead and get that set up. So we're gonna have our control surface here and my Korg Nano Control 2 is eight faders. Uh, and what we first want to do is to create a new mapping page that's dedicated to this. So we're going to take all of the layout and maintain that, but assign different functions. So we'll go to our mapping page and then click on the mapping assistant and click the plus sign. We'll give it a name. And now we can see all of the different parameters have been cleared. So let's go ahead and define our different parameters. So we're going to go to our functions browser, which if it isn't available or visible, click on this icon and we want to go to the mix console. So we'll see mixer bank zone. So one thing to make sure is when we select the setup, that the number we see here equals the number of channels or faders on your control surface. So if you had a 16 channel control surface, you want to have six, 16 set as the value here for mixer channels. I'm going to now click on channels and let's say channel one. So I see eight channels because I have an eight channel device. Now to assign the different settings, I move, physically move the fader and then I want to go to say channel one. Let's go to send slot and I'll say we're, we'll go to slot one. I'm gonna adjust the level, hit this button here and that will turn on the sends and I want this button to do pre and post. So for my second fader, and we're just gonna do this and we just do it one time, get it set up and save it. So we'll go to slot one level, enable, pre-post. Let's go to fader three, to send slot one. And as we are moving the fader, we want to now say level, enable, pre-post. Okay, and we will continue this process for our different channels. Now we could have different mapping pages. So this is controlling send one, and we could do the same process and map it for uh, send two or send three, just by selecting our different slots. All right, and we could see what exact parameters are assigned, so we'll come here and do our pre-post, make it nice and consistent. So we'll continue on to channel five. On to channel six. Right, and to channel seven. And finally to channel eight.
Okay, so we've assigned that. Now, obviously our project has more than eight channels. So we have eight channels defined. So how can we get to channels nine through 16, 17 through 24? And that would actually be using banking. So I'm gonna select this button here on my controller. And we're gonna go again to our mix console. And instead of channels, we're gonna go to actions. So we could just say, let's go to uh, previous mixer bank by hitting the left button here. And let's go to the button just to the right of it and say next mixer bank. So once we have this set up, we will now come over and turn on our effect sends. We could set the levels using the faders. So we can see the faders moving at the bottom and we see the values adjusting directly on the top in the sends. And let's flip them all to pre-fader, hit the bank button. And now I'm controlling the next eight channels. And let's adjust our levels up for these. And let's bank back down. Let's turn on these send levels and we could adjust accordingly. Now, if we had a separate mapping page where we chose slot two for send two, slot three for send three, we could assign these mapping pages to particular keys within the, the mapping page here. So let's double click. So let's say when I hit this button, I'm on send one, but when I hit this button, I've already created a mapping page for send two. So I would go to my mapping page actions and say on this particular button, I want to go from send one to send two flip. And we'll apply the mapping. When I go to the next button here, I want this to be set to send three flip. And we'll just kind of move on. So we'll say send four flip. Etc. So now when I hit this button, what this will do, I hit this button on my control surface, I'm now controlling send two. So I could adjust that. If I hit the third button, I'm controlling send three. So turn on the sends, move it, adjust pre and post where needed, and be able to jump back to send two and bank over turn them on, et cetera. So once you have these configured, you could navigate with a very simple control surface, even the Cork Nano Control 2, and be able to physically control all of your eight sends using a control surface inside of Cubase. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel.